Hello everyone, Charlie Sarila here. For today's video, I would like to share with you what is filing arrangement and records management, how it is important in the organization, and what are the types of filing arrangement and records management. What is records management? Records management refers to a set of activities required for systematically controlling the creation, distribution, use, maintenance, and disposition of recorded information maintained as evidence of business activities and transaction. It is more than retention, storage, and disposition of records. It entails all record-keeping requirements and practices that allow an organization to establish and maintain control over information flow and administrative operations. It is knowing what you have, where you have it, and how long you have to keep it. The purpose of records management is part of an organization's broader function of governance, risk management, and compliance, and is primarily concerned with managing the evidence of an organization's activities as well as the reduction or mitigation of risk associated with it. What is filing arrangement? So filing means keeping documents in a safe place and being able to find them easily and quickly. Documents that are cared for will not easily tear, get lost, or dirty. A filing system is the central record-keeping system for an organization. It helps you to be organized, systematic, efficient, and transparent. Classification systems are established so that records will be filed or stored according to a document set of rules. Records need to be retrievable when needed. Determining the type of filing arrangement appropriate for an organization depends on how records will be utilized. There are types of filing arrangement of records that depends on the needs of the organization. One of the types of filing arrangement of records management is the alphabetical arrangement. It is a method of storing and arranging records according to letters of the alphabet. It may be done using either the first names or surnames but whichever is chosen must be consistent throughout the particular filing system. In cases where the names of more than one person starts with the same letter, then the second letter of the name is taken into consideration, then third, and so on. Alphabetical arrangement is the most popular or common method of filing and is suitable for both small and large organizations. In alphabetical arrangement of records management, it has also advantages and disadvantages. Most people are familiar with, with alphabetical filing. Hence, it is easy and simple to understand and operate. Storage is easy if standard procedures are followed. The system is highly elastic. That the new headings can be introduced at any point without disturbing the classifications. It is a self-indexing. No separate index is needed for alphabetical filing. Chances of misfiling are minimized. The disadvantages of this filing arrangement is that similar names may cause confusion, especially when spellings are not precise. Filing under the wrong name can result to loss of records. In setting up a new system, it is difficult to estimate how much space is to be allowed for each letter of alphabet. If the number of records increases, extensive rearrangement of guide cards and files became necessary. Alphabetical classification of filing is not always the fastest system that it takes a long time to find papers in large organizations. Dead files removed from the system leave gaps, which cannot be filed except by correspondence bearing the same or a very similar name.
The second types of filing arrangement of records management is the subject filing. This method is the grouping of files together according to the subject matter or by topical name of the correspondence in questions. This method is recommended when the range of topics used within an organization is broad. Arranging of records by subject categories such as topic, department, service, product, or project. The subject title must be short and clearly descriptive of the material it represents. In subject filing, the advantages is that subjects are easier to remember the names. Related records are easy to find, not scattered throughout the files. Security is provided because correspondent names are not visible to unauthorized persons who may not know the subject under which a record is filed. The disadvantages is that subject titles and subdivisions may overlap as the list of subject titles grow. Inconsistent subject coding on records may make storage and retrieval difficult. Concise, clearly defined, and uniformly stated subjects may be difficult to select. Users may not remember exact titles or may be unfamiliar with the subject titles and may have more difficulty in finding records. Planning and maintenance are required to assure that approved subject titles are used consistently. In this type of filing arrangement, it is the most expensive storage method because experienced filers are required. The next type of filing arrangement of records management is the numeric filing. It is a systematic arrangement of records according to numbers. Under this method, each folder or record is given a number and the files are arranged in the numerical order that each customer or subject is allocated by a number. All papers relating to a particular customer or supplier or subject are placed in one folder bearing its distinctive number. A numeric filing system is commonly used for purchase orders, checks, and other records that have a unique number assigned to each document. It uses an index or file plan to associate concepts with specific numbers, which are then applied to the materials being filed. The advantages of numeric filing is that it is easy to expand numeric files. Impersonal numbers ensure confidentiality of records. Once the index card is prepared and a number is assigned, filing is quicker. Misfiled folders are easily located because numbers out of place are easier to locate. Disadvantages of numer numeric filing is that it is indirect access system. Index required. The card must be consulted before a paper can be filed. More guides are needed for other systems more time needed to index and code. Greater care is required to avoid errors arising from mental transpiration. Another types of filing arrangement is the cross-references. It is used when the subject matter is broad and contains several different filing features or is closely related to two or more subjects. When the document affects or is functionally connected to two or more departments, it can be also be done using a cross-reference sheet. The original document is filed in one file, and a cross-reference sheet is placed in the related files. The cross-reference sheet will be refer users back to the file that contains the original document. Terminal digit filing is another type of filing arrangement of records management. It is a filing system that works by using the last two or three digit numbers and files to organize them. It then follows the numbers in reverse order to pinpoint the needed file. As a result, 
this numerical system of filing is efficient for many large-scale companies. Terminal digit filing has four main advantages that distinguish it from other filing systems. In terminal digit filing, numbers are divided into two groups, separated by a space or a hyphen. Numbers are read from right to left. The end digits are the terminal digits and are used as the primary division under which a record is filed. The next type of filing arrangement of records management is the geographic filing. It is a method in which files are grouped according to the geographical location of firm, organization, or person. Under this method, name of places is written in file and are arranged in drawer either in alphabetical or numerical order, whichever is suitable for the organization. This system is suitable for the maintenance of sales records or customers' accounts. The classification may be town-wise, district-wise, country-wise, or continent-wise. In geographic filing, it has also advantages and disadvantages. The advantages is that it allows for direct filing if the location is known. It provides for, for grouping of records by location. The volume of records within any geographic area can be seen by glancing at the files. All the advantages of alphabetic filing are inherent in this method. Disadvantages is that multiple sorting increases the possibility of error and it is time consuming. Reference to the hard file is necessary if the location is not known. The arrangement of guides and folders make filing difficult. The geographical location should be known to the employees. If not, misfiling may be taken place. An index should be prepared. If not, geographical classification will be no use. The, this method should be combined with any other method of classification. If not, better results cannot be obtained. The next type of filing arrangement is the sorter graph. In a number of companies in the United States and other advanced countries of the world, it is not uncommon to observe the use of a special sorting device known under the technical term sorter graph designed to facilitate the sorting of papers and documents before they are filed. It contains 100 sections of packets for sorting purposes. Microfilming is another type of filing arrangement of records management. It is an analog storage medium using film reels which are exposed and developed into photographic records using a photographic process. It is also called microphotography that consists in the reduction of images to such a small size that they cannot be read without optical assistance. This media is frequently used for long-term image preservation, document reconstruction, and off-site storage. The choice of using microfilm will depend on the application and length of time the document or image needs to be stored. The film is viewed by means of a magnifying apparatus. As media, it has many advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of microfilming is that microfilm breaks less often and thinner films can be used. It is tend to cost less than paper subscriptions due to lower reproduction cost. Microfilm is compact with far smaller storage cost than paper documents. The disadvantages is that self space is required to maintain an efficient record. The principal disadvantage of microfilm is that the image is too small to read with the naked eye. The microfilm itself can only be reproduced a limited number of times. Open real microfilm can make data retrieval time consuming 
as you will need to search sequentially through real.